Hello and welcome to the Film Fruit channel in partnership with Analog Wonderland. This video is about 35mm film and how to use it. The film featured in this video is available at Analog Wonderland, which is an amazing online store with even more amazing stuff to choose from. Now at the end of this video, I will go through with you how you can get an exclusive Film Freak discount code to use with them. Now, 35mm film is the analog standard. The gateway into shooting on film for the first time for many photographers. It comes in a nifty little canister and the sprocket holes are used to help advance the film within the camera. And the little leader bit at the beginning of the film is used to attach your film onto the spool. You can get all sorts of 35mm film such as black and white, colour, slide, red scale to the experimental stuff as well. And I will be going into a bit more depth about those kinds of films in another video. Now as long as you got a compatible working 35mm camera such as a simple SLR or a compact camera, your 35mm film will work just fine in there. Now I will show you how to load your 35mm film. First of all you need to locate the rewind knob which will be on the top left hand side of the camera. Pull it up and it should open up the back of the camera. This should be the same process on a typical compact camera too and SLRs and other film cameras and if you're not sure always check the user manual. Next place the film in the opening on the left hand side. Push down the rewind knob so it fits onto the film. Pull the leader of the film over to the spool. Insert the narrow end into the slot. Push until the film is securely in the spool. One way to tell that the film is in is that it will be poking out on the other side of the slot. Make sure that the sprockets are placed over the teeth. This is so the film can advance without any issues. Now you can close the back of the camera at this point, but you can keep it open to make sure the film does advance onto the spool. You may lose a frame or two doing this, but it's better to know if your film has been correctly loaded. Look at the rewind knob and if it's turning, that means your film is advancing without any issues. Wind the film on a few times and hit the shutter just to make sure that the exposed film is clear. All being well, you are ready to shoot. When you're all finished and you can't advance your film anymore, that means you're ready to unload it. Locate the film release button on your camera. It's commonly on the bottom right hand side, but if you can't find it, check your user manual to find out where it is. Press the release button and you might hear a little click. Now go to your rewind knob. Flip the crank and start rewinding clockwise until the film pops off the spool and draws into the canister. During this process, be sure not to pull up the rewind knob as it will open up the back of the camera and expose the film. You should be able to feel a slight click when it does and feel no resistance when turning the knob. If so, the film has completely rewound. Pull up the rewind knob so the back of the camera opens. Take your film out and now it's ready to be developed. If you're not sure where to take it, Analog Wonderland has an offer with the fantastic guys at DigiLab. Now I hope this video has helped you out and you can load and unload your film without any issues. But before you start shooting, you need to get some film, don't you? And Analog Wonderland has the most amazing range available with brands such as Lomography, Kono, Revelog, Ilford, Fujifilm, Kodak, all sorts of stuff to choose from. And thanks to Analog Wonderland, I have an exclusive discount code for Film Freak viewers. To get this code, you need to be subscribed. And the last 50 subscribers, the Film Freak channel will be sent this discount code, but you need to have your subscriber list public so I know that you're following me. If you're a long term subscriber and you want the discount code, just shoot me a message and I'll send it to you. And if you're not subscribed and you want the discount code, then get yourself subscribed. Thank you very much for watching and make sure that you are following Analog Wonderland on their social media accounts as well. And make sure that you're subscribed to this channel for more videos that I'll be doing with them in the very near future. And with that, I will catch you in the next video. Bye!